everybody welcome back to my channel and sorry I'm in like a different background right now lighting is really bad at the moment so if I'm looking a bit like orangey it's because I've got um, two lights just up here um, it's not like a softbox light or anything and I'm using natural light but as you can see the weather is not looking good so there is not much light coming in so I'm kind of resulting to either not doing a video which I know you guys don't want and or doing a video with bad lighting so we're gonna go for the latter and anyway today's video is going to be my November favorites because I've been loving because I have been loving loads of different things in November um, all the things I have listed are all beauty products um, I don't have any like films or books or anything um, however I do I don't have any films or books listed um, but um, there is about about six or seven things I want to show you guys and anyway let's get to it so the first thing I have been loving in November is the Collection Conceal and Light Like a Pro palette. This palette is really good for um, a whole different reasons because it does a lot of different things. So it has um, it has loads of different colours. So the green one is for redness. The purple one is for um, contrasting against like yellow areas and like it says banishing dark dullness um, concealer is for concealing of course and it has a highlighter which is used for putting under your brow bone or brow bone or putting it on the um, just above your cheek and it also has a yellow one for highlighting and also concealing dark circles under your eyes and I really like this palette it's so inexpensive too and it has a little mirror and I really like this palette another product I have been loving is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation in the shade 100 Ivory this is really good for people who have oily or combination skin kind of like what I have um, and it has a full coverage so it's good if you have any blemishes or anything on your face which you want to conceal it says on here it has a lightweight um, feel and has shine control definitely with the shine control I'm not sure about a lightweight feel just because when I put it on my face immediately it does feel a bit heavy but when I really blend it in it does I guess it does decrease the heaviness and goes a bit lighter um, I've been loving this. I got it a few years ago and I hated it back then because I didn't have the right utensils. Which brings me on to my second choice, well my second favourite, which is um, Beauty Blender. Beauty Blenders are my holy grail of makeup brushes, of sponges, of everything. They do everything, um, apart from eyeshadow, whatever. They help blend into your skin so nicely. Um, if you just wet it before just under a sink it's so good because it means that less of the foundation is soaked in meaning more can go in your face um, so you get full full coverage and it's really really good for getting an effortless finish on the face and just blending everything in because sometimes with brushes I, you get all these street marks all on your face and it's not blending in right but with a makeup sponge it blends in beautifully and I've got one from Real Techniques Another product I have been loving is the L'Oreal um, L'Oreal Palace um, Matte Liquid Gloss in the shade 401 Amen. I've got it on my lips now. As the lighting's all messed up, it's not as corally as it's looking on, on camera. It is a nudie colour, nudie pink colour and I've been loving this colour, I've been wearing it to school and I've got quite a few compliments on it and I absolutely love it it has just got a nice effortless look to it which can go with any different eyeshadows and it's not too massive so if you have a really dramatic eye you can still put it on it's in the, in the between between nude and pink which I love another thing I purchased um, in November was from the Natural Collection yeah shop at the natural collection and it's this brown lipstick I've completely messed up the packaging um, it is a really brown lipstick um, I bought this because I love brown lipsticks at the moment um, 
and when I first put it on I loved it then realized it doesn't stay on then realized it this breaks like this is this is actually broken so like it's wonky as you can see so yeah love the color it's in the shade hazelnut but just be careful with it um, I had to keep topping up throughout the day but then I do that with most of my lipsticks anyway. My next two products are lip liners. Um, I'm going to go over this one. This one's from MAC and I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this but I just want to mention it again. This is the Whirl Lip Pencil. I got the Whirl Lipstick um, a few months ago or like a month ago and I've been loving that so I was like oh you know let's go with the lip liner because I've never been like a lip liner lip stick girl until recently so I was like let's get the lip liner and I've been loving the lip liner too I need to sharpen it so um but I've been loving it it's like a nice cool um brownie actually no it's not cool I think it's kind of warm warm brownie pink um nudie lip pencil which goes perfectly with MAC World, which I've been loving well the last thing I've been loving and it's been the best product it has been the Rimmel Lasting Finish um, Lip Pencil in, in the shade Cappuccino. This is the perfect brown shade. If only Rimmel had a lipstick matching this colour because they do not, which is so annoying. It's a gorgeous brown shade and I have been loving overdrawing my lips with this. Using MAC Well and also MAC Faux and also using the pink nudie um, lip gloss matte from L'Oreal has been working magnificently on my lips and it's just so gorgeous. Only problem is when I put it on my lips, just full lip liner, I always get paranoid it's not staying on. So that's my only thing because it doesn't really nourish your lips so that's why you have to put a lipstick underneath. I have been loving this so much and it's like $3.99, $2.99 so it's so 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 good I again need to sharpen it but so guys I hope you like this video just having a little sneak peek at my November favorites on, on the beauty side um, I promise next um, month for December we'll be doing like different like films and all the all that jazz for Christmas and stuff make sure to give this video a like and make sure to subscribe and check out in the description box below all my other videos which i will put a link to well from my last video um also guys make sure to comment about what you're doing for christmas different christmas ideas and um, christmas presents you're asking for and if you have any different video ideas you want me to do which are Christmassy related or anything anyway guys i hope you're having a great week and i'll see you next week bye